Hey folks, <clears throat> Beano Black here. We got the freshest uh, shot as the tensions over with China and Japan are getting escalated a little bit. We got airplanes that have been moved from Alaska to the Pacific region. Some F-22s, I believe. <clears throat> Some uninhabited resource-rich islands in the Pacific. And as we see on the screen, you are seeing a feed from Sechi. I want to say hello to all the armed forces. And we are looking at Sechi AH-1. That's a head. H-1-1. High one. Okay, and what you're seeing is what we have said, that the idea that NASA has had it wrong all these years. It's not no photo flare. And more than likely, it should be Jupiter. Uh, I'll have to look at a local map. And what it does is the static electricity off the sun to begin off of the pressure of all the massive CME to the right that you're seeing that constantly flowing there. As you know that it's more than just the sun because as you see all the ushing sun doesn't ush like that all the time it is now because it's going through an event which more than likely it is running into or eating up a bunch of remnants in space asteroids meteors comets because the idea that we have some very rare times in uh, asteroids meteor and basically asteroids close to earth because NASA got on back at, around Thanksgiving of last year and told everybody that the idea that everything is far away. Well, we're all at all-time closeness to all kinds of objects in space. And i.e., the sun has got, is now starting to move away from Earth. We still have magnetism very good. If you watched uh, the two-minute news today, you'd see that the idea that he shows you the magnetism way we are attached to the front and the back magnetism of the sun. There are some high magnetic fields that are up either, still not scientifically, factually totally proven yet, whether it's sun alone or the magnetic material massive uh, objects in front and or behind the sun because there are remnants up on the sun. And I'll take you to show you that. Uh, Remember, it's tiny, small fishing boats that are on those disputed properties down there in Japan. And remember the color on the, we've seen both desert and green on a lot of military equipment's been moved around the last year and a half, two years, okay? And when the stuff starts moving in Alaska, F-22s, it might be uh, factual that they're getting out of there for the winter. I would think that more. So I want to calm everybody on the idea that Japan and China's tension. I think everything's probably going all hunky doria. So, but it's still something to keep attention on because we do have massive amount of troops in the Pacific region, which we should at all times. It's our back door. It's one of our borders. If you put four borders up around North America, so this uh, constant static electricity that hits the atmosphere of more than likely Jupiter is causing that big flare out here to your left off the massive uh, CMEs from the supergiants and the sun. Because as you see, more than likely, the sun is the, this massive here, but we also have other massive flowing down there and up there. Either that or the sun's way bigger than what they've always told us, which we know that's not true because there's Suns that are in the supergiants that are 100 times the size of the sun. 74. All kinds of different numbers. 74 times the size of the sun. And if you, anybody's watched my old videos, we know about that. So, the massiveness of the supergiants is showing a very major league right now. Because that's not just the sun. And if it is, what the hell is going on with the sun? Okay. So, this is a fresh shot today. All right. So, I got a decent speed going, and let's go take a look at some other government shots.
Okay, folks, anything with a white area on a line, this is a wind map for today. And basically, you will have wind of around 20 miles an hour if you, and plus if you have a white line in your area on the map. Apologize to Hawaii and Alaska. Uh, I'll move down here and see. I've never paid attention to whether we have Hawaii and Alaska listed on the map. And I do not believe they have it on this one. You have to go to Ghost, and you can get the whole country. Okay, and as you can see, just in the gallery down here, we've been heavier in the last few days. Today is a very calm day. Uh, we don't have as many close objects by Earth. Uh, the coronal, or aurora, is down. Uh, I mean, not down, but what I'm saying is it's a lot lighter today than it's been in the last three or four days. I'll show you that. So we'll get back to that in a minute. First, I want to show you the sun. This Alaska C3, and I can blow this up, and we'll see what kind of what we what we see on it. But the actual factual is the idea that when you're looking at your Sechi shot that I showed you, the live movie, which I think I can go back to. Uh, uh, we'll show you the earthquakes here real fast, folks. Let me go ahead and uh, plunk back into that. IntelliCast is acting up on me a little bit. But as you can see how the layers, remember we always say a layer of a shot? Because, see, they focus on the sun here, folks. The government does. And then you get the super giants and everything when we're seeing this total outside movie of all the layers together. We end up seeing, more than likely, I say Jupiter there up through the Sechi shot. And you see all the flow off of the sun super giants okay sun is massive but there's also super giants activity that it's close to right now alaraf i believe it's still close by but massive distances don't get me wrong but that's why we get this massive distances distances and you get a big old flow from something down here and also up there and yes the sun is massive ladies and gentlemen okay but also keeping in mind when you know the sizes of the percentages see that i got and telecast acting up on me, you'll see that the factual that the, the sun is not that large compared to Jupiter there. And then there was way more than just the sun. And we do know that there's three suns for darn sure from some of the NASA guys that have actually passed away. Uh, the world's going to have to realize that humankind has made mistakes about what they were looking at up in space before because they didn't have the technology that we have now. Okay, The clothes are coming off, folks. Okay, So now, there's the sun on three, and I don't really... I, now, I'll show you the remnant here because I told you this is why we were going to come here in the first place is to take a look at the remnants. And this is one of the ones, uh, and it might actually be somewhat close to the, the factual... I mean, adjust. Okay, adjusted folks, and let's pop over. And I apologize for talking so loud to begin the video. You do not, I adjust my voice. And more than likely, this may be our our bird that we see. But it, then again, it's still, I, I actually just disagreeing with myself right now on that. Because the idea that there's so much massiveness back on the back part of this remnant. And I could probably go into a thousand or whatever. But we know pretty much we've seen that remnant for years and years and years. We also have remnant on basically kind of like the lemon nipple of the sun that we always end up seeing here. It's not the arm that they show to black out so that you can't see nothing. That's not affecting and making that shape there. That's actual remnant that's on the sun. Okay, people? That arm is, but the idea when you see this straight up Navy shots, and you see these are huge planets up here, folks. These are bigger than Jupiter more than likely right here. Or if anything, close to the size of Jupiter that get caught in on these massive areas of shots and also that there are remnants and big ass planets that are hella close there that would be you would think uninhabitable of anything at least known to us because how would we hold back from all that heat up there okay so that is a good example of one of the remnants that you see in hawaii on the footage okay from this is from the navy shot today okay and then uh, anybody that's seen the shot all you gotta do is back the video up i'm not gonna mess around then we have these remnants that we've seen up here 
And this is what was what was more than likely or something related to this massive object here that we end up seeing of a kind of a, a light show that we get from the sun, a strobing up in space of what I called like a, what was it called? I think I'm going to say it wrong, but I called it a jumper or something. You have to go back and watch the China footage of the off their spaceship that I ended up having somebody give me earlier this this year. So there we're back to three. And we'll zoom in on this. I think I can get the zoom tool to work okay on this one here. We'll just go to like 200%. Then we'll zoom in here. And then you'll see the idea of the huge remnants and planets that are around there. Now, they always say that that's the arm. And yes, it somewhat is. But when they minus everything off, you get down to seeing that they actually use that on that high remnant area. And what it is, there's a remnant. It's like a volcano that's on the been known to be on a, I think it's on a... Oh, on a remnant next to uh, the sun. Not positive on that, though. So, and then we'll zoom in one more time, and you'll get the idea, the factual of what I'm telling you about the idea that that, that arm is placed in a certain position to block out the remnants in that area that are pretty darn well, more than likely, uninhabitable. Okay. Now, you've seen the remnant earlier, and I'm not sure if that's it there. Or if it's actually the arm is actually covering it up there, but they have to have somewhat of a filter over the sun. So in a sense, I'm contradicting myself, but at least I'm a human being to admit when I make a and I'm just doing the video real fast. The arm is there of a lens that does, does filtering, okay? But you still get to see through all the arm because it's clear, okay? And then you get the more clearer shot if you go back of what that lens really looks like if you go back to and I'll just go back here again real quick to, to and you see that's how clear it actually is okay so you get a little bit of this from mankind from our filter that they put on there but it's also around a remnant area usually the majority of the time so like when I go back here you're gonna see that remnant here in a smaller far away shot and it's just basically a zooming of a lens because all these shots are coming from the same doggone satellite uh, I actually might be misquoting myself on that because one might be uh, ahead and one might be behind. C3 uh, and then C2. So actually one might be ahead and one might be, be behind here for these shots. And then I'll also, let's go take you to a shot of, uh, let's get back back out of this and just see if we see anything. We'll zoom out at like 200%. And then you get all the massiveness of space and the sun there okay but we go back right here to the live movie from the 16th and you'll see everything that's out there in space okay the super giants and the sun but down here as you see in the lower area there's not a gravitational thing where everything in space falls down and if it is then the magnetism is not us in earth it's in space See, so there's going to be a lot of theories that actually, it, with a lot more of this stuff being looked at by common people, discussing and seeing what's going on, because this is the super giants down here, and also the sun up here. More than likely, in accordance how we have those satellites positioned, just like from Earth, up is up and down is down, in right and left. Now they can rotate those things 360 degrees, but now. <clears throat> the actual factual is you see more flowing out. There's an underflow down here from another star, sun, and basically way larger than the sun. And also the sun. So, Because the sun doesn't put off such an uneven wave. Because when we know, when we look at the sun from the... Because when you're looking at the sun, folks, basically it puts off a 360 pretty much even flow. Now that will be more here, correct. Okay, and stuff like that. But as far back as this shot is zoomed, you can see the flow of the supergiants and other powers out here to the below on the bottom. Okay, coming out at a different angle than what the sun is right here. The sun does its 360 right about here. Okay, and this is the massiveness of space. And you see down on the bottom, the supergiants putting off its flare also down here on the bottom. And as I scroll up, you'll see that a little bit better. Because the sun's up there doing its thing, and yeah, it's overflowing and hitting into the other awesome flaring from here. 